So, I mean, in the second anniversary of this tragedy, um, what do you think has changed and, and where do you see things uh, going forward? What do you see changing? That's always the question that gets me crazy. What has changed? I don't know if the words change, because we were always an inclusive community. We've had Latinos in this community since the 50s, you know, and and I said, like I said, this, this tragedy came to us. We didn't create it, it came to this community. These kids came because there were Latinos living in this community comfortably, and there were many living in this community comfortably. An easy place to find your targets. You know, when you go hunting, you go to where the deer are. You don't go to where they're not. These guys are out hunting. How about um, in the high school in Pad Med? Do you feel like there could be work to be done there that, uh, you know, with the students and with their views? I think there's, there's always work to be done. That's a very difficult time we live in, you know. It, the, the media portrays, you know, the, the immigrants in such a negative fashion that we have to overcome that. We have to overcome the, the day every time somebody talks about an immigrant, he's illegal. That every time they talk about an immigrant, he's an alien. We put up fences to keep you know, the, the, out of our country. Kids react to that. That's the only other thing that, that they know about this illegal drugs. So you can keep call, calling somebody illegal, you have to devalue them. We need to get past the devaluing of that population. And the kids in the high school and in the junior highs, like next door to where we are, it's our job as adults. We frame the conversation. We have to frame the conversation. Not, not the kids. They listen to us, they react to what we say.